Hey guys, it's Kayla and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be how to take notes on an iPad, how to take good, effective digital notes. I used an iPad all throughout high school and college to take notes, so I feel like I have a good understanding of this all and I have a bunch of tips for you guys. I'm gonna take you through Notability today just because that's the app that I'm used to using, but a lot of these tips are just general note-taking tips and will be effective for whatever note-taking app you guys use. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave any comments down below. That just lets me know that you liked it and it also lets the YouTube algorithm know that you liked it and it will promote my video to more people. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave any comments down below. I always respond to your guys' comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. I post three times a week, so stick around for lots of new content. I'm gonna stop rambling now and get into all of these tips. The first thing you need to do when taking notes, and that's just note taking in general, not even just digital notes, is you need to figure out what method is going to work best for you. There's so many different note taking methods. There's Cornell, there's outlining, there's mind mapping. Whatever note taking method is going to work best for you on paper is most likely going to work the same for you on an iPad. So really figure out what method is going to work best for you. I suggest testing a few different ones out if you're not sure what is going to work best for you because there's so many out there, it's going to work different for everyone. So just try a bunch out and figure out what's going to work best for you. It's the same thing when it comes to note-taking apps there's a bunch of different ones out there like I said I'm gonna take you through notability but there's a ton of different ones so I would try a few out and see what is going to work best for you which one you like the most you also need to figure out all of the settings that are going to work best for you there are so many different options so you need to figure out what brush size is best for you what paper what grid size there's so many different options whether you want lined paper ruled paper or grid paper there's just so many options so really just sit down and mess around with the iPad mess around with whatever note taking app you're using and see what settings are gonna work best for you, what font size, what pen size, there's literally just so many options. So take 30 minutes, take an hour to just kind of mess around and see what you like best. Having a set layout will make it so much easier for you to take notes. If you already know what settings you like, what layout you like, you're just gonna be able to hop in and write your notes out quickly, especially in college, you're not really able to raise your hand and ask a professor to repeat something. So you need to be able to just sit down, quickly write out your notes in a way that you're gonna be able to study from later on. Two important things I think when it comes to layout and kind of writing out your notes, use grid or lined paper. It's going to keep your notes so much neater and more organized. So use some type of grid or outline, whichever one you like, it's going to help, I promise. I don't like reading my notes with the grid, but I write them out with the grid and then I will turn the grid off after when I'm like going through and studying from them. I don't know if it's the same on Goodreads, but Notability has a zoom in feature so you can zoom in on a specific line and write your notes super zoomed in, but then you could exit the zoom in feature and just read them normally. And I think the zoom in feature is the best way to take your notes. So kind of mess around with that and figure out what setting there is going to work best for you. There's also a clipping tool and this makes it super easy to move around your notes and resize them. So if you can take all your notes in one size and just small and quickly write them out and then go back in and resize them and move them around, it's going to make it so much easier. So just write your notes in the quickest way possible and then kind of go back and look at them and resize and move around as needed. Next, we're gonna talk about how to keep your notes organized. It is super important to have your notes organized, especially if you're just quickly writing them out. Having this set layout is really going to help you, but there's quite a few other ways to keep your notes organized and kind of lay them out in a way that's going to help you study effectively from them. The first thing you can do is color code. I absolutely love color coding my notes. I think it is super, super helpful when studying to have different keywords popped out in different colors and just have it organized in different ways with colors. On Notability, you're able to jump in and change the color of whole sections. If you don't like something or if you want it to stand out in a different color, you can go in and change that. Notability also allows you to go in and add custom colors. Before they had like a set 10 colors that you could use and they were like bright and those were your only options, but now you can go in and add custom colors. So if you like super pastel colors, you can go in and add a a bunch of color codes in that you really like. And if you enjoy looking at your notes and you enjoy reading them, it's going to make your studying more effective. It's just gonna make you happier when you study to see like bright, fun colors that you enjoy rather than just plain black, boring notes. Like I said before, you can go in and move around text and resize text, and this is super helpful for creating titles. I think it's super important to create titles and create different size titles. It just helps you organize your notes better. It allows you to read through them quicker and kind of figure out where you need to go in your notes. I also love highlighting in my notes, and you can do that on your iPad as well. So I like to highlight key words, key phrases, just anything that I want to really go in and make sure I remember you can highlight it 
and the best thing is you can hold down your line to straighten a line so if you want to highlight a whole line of text write out your line and then hold it down at the end and this will allow the line to straighten. It'll just keep your notes more organized, keep them looking cleaner and crisper. Another great way to keep your notes organized is to insert tables, images, diagrams directly into your notes. For example, if your professor is talking about a diagram of the brain and showing you different parts of a brain, you can download an image of a brain and go in and label all of those things in your notes, or you can already find a labeled one online and insert those into your notes instead of trying to draw it out all yourself. It'll just make your notes a lot cleaner, a lot more organized if you can insert these different tables, insert these different images instead of trying to write them all out on your own. It'll just help keep your notes more organized and it'll allow you to kind of pay attention more to the lecture instead of trying to quickly write everything down. So I think finding a good balance between what you can insert and what you can take from the internet and insert into your notes and what is going to be most effective if you write it out is going to be super helpful. Like I said, it's super important to be able to take notes quickly, but you also want to make sure your notes are neat and that you can study off of them. A great way to take notes from an online lecture is to split the screen on your iPad. You can have the lecture pulled up on one side of your screen and be able to take notes on the other side of the screen. I feel like this is super helpful, especially with a lot of people taking online classes all this next semester, you can play the online lecture on one side of your screen and take notes on the other side. Also, I feel like it's helpful if you have a laptop or a monitor playing the lecture and then take notes so you don't have to flip back and forth between one or the other. So either split your screen, use two different devices to be able to take your notes. This will allow you to write them out neater instead of having to switch back and forth between two different pages or apps. Recording the audio from your lectures is also a great way to keep your notes neat and allows you to go back in and review the notes. You do need to ask permission, at least in college, if you can record the notes, but most professors have no problem with it and will let you, but I would always ask. Some states have laws against it. Just ask to be safe, but recording your notes just allows you to go back and review them. If you miss something or you feel like you didn't write something down correctly, you can go back and listen again and fix it in your notes. Notability has great audio features now, so if you're reviewing your notes, you can click on a section in the notes and it will take you to that part in the audio notes, or if you are listening to the audio notes, it will take you to that part of the notes as well and it will show you writing them out. This is such a great way to review your notes. If you play the audio recording and then watch your notes write out again, so, so helpful. When you're taking notes in class or lecture, it's important to just get all the information down that you need and jot down everything, even if it's not the neatest. But a great way to kind of review and make your notes neater is to go back and rewrite your notes. This is going to help you retain the information better, I promise you. It might seem like a waste of time or might seem annoying to go back in and rewrite your notes, but any class that I've done this for, I feel like I've had to study less for the test because I reviewed it a second time shortly after the class, shortly after the lecture rewritten it all down and it just soaks into your brain more and then you don't have to review it as hard or review it as often when it comes to studying for a test. Rewriting your notes is super helpful. It'll allow you to organize them better, keep them neater, and it'll help you study better. Another great feature if you really don't like your handwriting or find your handwriting hard to study from is that you can convert your handwriting into text. So if you've written out notes and you really don't like how they look and you don't feel like rewriting all of them out, you can select all of that section and convert your handwriting into text. It's obviously not going to be a thousand percent accurate, but I found for the most part, it works pretty well. So if you select a whole section of your handwriting, you don't like how it looks, just convert it to text and then you don't have to spend the time rewriting it. That is how I used my iPad to take notes in high school and college, how I effectively took digital notes. If you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know. If you have any other back to school videos you would like to see, let me know in the comments down below. I'm not in school anymore, but I still really like talking about back to school. I am a nerd and like school. So if there's anything else you would like me to talk about or you'd like to see a video on, let me know in the comments down below. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.